Hello and welcome all lovers of indie games. It's the start of a brand new week, so let's take a look at what awesome indie games we might have missed last week. We have a shooter set in space, a blast from the past in a blockbusters, and much more, so make sure you stay around until the end so you don't miss out on any. Are you feeling comfy? Great, well then it's time to sit back, relax, as we jump into these trailers together. It's time to look at a shooter that really could be the next big thing in Boundary, an online first person shooter with the unique setting of space. Boundary is a multiplayer tactical space based shooter that puts players in the role of a heavily armoured astronaut called an Astro Operator and executing low gravity operations on orbiting space installations against other enemy Astro Operators and other entities. You can personalise your protective spacesuit to look as hip and funky as you want. You might stand out a little bit more, but at least you'll look cool. And your arsenal of modified weaponry. You can be a keen eye sharpshooter, executing long range kills from afar with a sniper, or choose to get in close and personal as an assaulter, taking the forward fight to them. You know, just get in there and all guns blazing. How's the wound? Stop bleeding at least, but we're out of bandages. Up next we have a game that's been out in early access for a while now, but it has just released its 1.0 update. That game is War Tales, an open world RPG in which you lead a group of mercenaries in their search for wealth across a massive medieval universe. You'll need to explore the world, recruit new companions, collect bounties and unravel the secrets of the tombs of the ancients. You'll need to overcome your foes with tactical turn based combat system that rewards careful planning and strategic thinking. Selecting the best combination of characters, equipment and tactics to succeed in each unique battle. I've played this during its early access days and I've loved it so far and I would recommend it to a lot of people. So I'm going to be going back into the game soon to see what things have changed. It's time to look at a game that has been out for many, many years and it's getting a lovely remaster into a massive collection. That is Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Volumes 1 and 2. Get ready to jack into the net to face off against deadly enemy programs in electrifying grid based battles and search the net for rare and powerful battle chips to build the ultimate deck of special moves. The collection holds all Mega Man Battle Network 1 all the way through to number 6 and you can either get them as a whole bundle or two separate volumes if you wanted to get them in a different order. Volume 1 has 1, 2, 3, Volume 2 has 4, 5, 6. The price is a little high for the whole collection so it may be one of those where you do decide to go for the different volumes but you do save more money if you get it as a whole so if you love the games or you never got a chance to play them when they were on Game Boy and you really want to give them a go now maybe it's just worth just throwing all the money at it and going, yeah, sure, let's play some Mega Man. Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. That was key. Wanted to cover the evening shift. Michelle hasn't turned up for work. Following on, the next game we have is Rewind or Die, a horror thriller psychological adventure. A heart-thumping, blood-dripping blast from the past as well. Your co-worker flaked out on their shift yet again. It's up to you to cover them. And of course, there's a serial killer who's been staking their claim to the area. Maybe they just want to come in and find out what's your favourite scary movie. Right? Deal with irate customers and you're going to have to put on your best customer service smile. Horrible bosses who treat you like gum on the bottom of their shoe. And make sure to keep your VHS store clean. Or at least, as clean as it can be. Don't worry about the occasional creepy phone call or, you know, that... Strange person watching you from the front window, it's kind of all part of the job. Try to survive the night and ensure the VHS shop stays open for another day. Re-releasing the game now with VR, Kill It With Fire. VR is a casual action spider hunter where you only have one mission, 
hunt and kill the dangerous spiders hiding in all these crazy locations. You'll need to use all different manners of weapons to ensure your safety, from throwing knives, pots and pans, and any weapon you can see lying around in front of you really, as for the first time with VR you can now grab and use anything. If you see a plant pot, hey grab it up, throw it at a spider. You might even get lucky and find some really cool weaponry like a flamethrower maybe just knocking around. The game is all about looking around different areas and finding spiders hidden. They may be under the flower pot, they may be under a desk, they might even be in a toilet. It's down to you to look around and find them and then make sure that none of them escape. I'm adding something a little different than normal this time, as it isn't a full game, but it is something that is going to be awesome. We have Vampire Survivors Tides of the Fuscari, the second DLC expansion for Vampire Survivors, introducing another huge stage, as well as a slate of new characters, monsters and weapons to play with. You'll need to enter an enchanted forest stuffed with fey mysteries, mythological entities and beasts that you would find in any given RPG beastery. The perfect place to have an average adventure with zero complications. The game DLC will feature 8 new characters and 13 new weapons to put you through your paces, all with different abilities and unique playstyles. Like I said before, it's a brand new map for you to explore, so get out there with all these new characters and see how many you can kill. Up next we have Flooded, a reversed city builder, in which you need to optimise your production on an island that shrinks over time, gather enough resources to flee to safety while the surrounding world is sadly getting flooded. Most likely due to the current issues with global warming, the waters have risen to a level leaving only a handful of places habitable. A small group of survivors, you need to extract resources in order to build an ark and move to a safer place. Turns out you're not alone though in this little adventure, as every area is a possible hostile environment. Other survivors have settled on nearby islands and they will take every chance to plunder your land. You'll need to build various defensive towers and traps to keep your miners safe from harm. It's time to help two twin vessels on their journey through the afterlife in Ascendium, a co-op puzzle adventure. Overcome platforming and mind-bending puzzle challenges and defeat scary enemies and bosses while controlling both characters at once or working together with another player in local co-op. The game plays very similar to Brothers if you've ever played that where you can both play on one controller or you can try and play both characters at once. You'll need to solve tricky puzzles that will put your mind to the test and defeat overpowering bosses that aim to stop your adventure in your tracks. The game features hand-painted zones to make it look beautiful. From grassy and peaceful hills to the depths of scary caverns, spiky hellish lands and to even nearly destroyed landscapes that defy the laws of gravity, it all is just making the game stand out. And that's all from me today, I really hope you've enjoyed the video. Please drop a comment below if you're a fan of any of the games that I've shown or if you've played them already and what's your opinion? I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye bye!